Hi, I'm the Gadget Guru, Andy Pard. You're watching The Vogue and iRide.net. Well, it's been a few hours and the G4 is now fully charged. Couple of observations. The first one is, remember how I said it used this USB adapter that converts into an AC adapter? Well, when you go to take this in and you try to put it in, now, it's just a little complicated to try to put this in. See what I mean? It just doesn't seem to want to slide in easily. I'm sure there's a trick for that, but I have it with the arrow facing up. It appears to be correct. It just doesn't go in as easily as the previous one there. See, it just went in, but it took a few tries. Now, where on the previous one, it's used a standard AC adapter. You would just pop it right in. So when, I don't know how other people use it. When I would typically come in from a ride, I'd put this on the shelf, plug it right in, be charged when I'm ready to go next time. Not as easy, but now on the other side of the fence, because it is using a USB adapter, you can connect it to your computer. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, because when a firmware update is required or some new software is coming down the road, you can now upgrade the unit where the other one, well, you'd have to send it back and let their engineers do it. That's kind of a positive there. Uh, but hopefully with a little usage, it'll be easier to, to get set up for charging. Now, let's start the pairing process. Again, we have the Scalia Rider G4 Power Set instruction book right here. And let's go on and go through to see how easy this is to pair with the phone. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to slide the G4 back onto its mounting bracket. We're going to read the instructions. Yes, this is the trusty Scalia Rider G4 instruction book. Pairing a headset to a Bluetooth mobile phone. The first thing it says is to turn on your phone and to make sure its Bluetooth function is activated. That's done. We turn on the headset by pressing the mobile button for at least three seconds. That's the center button here. We'll press it down. One, two, three. Okay, you see that's flashing? That means it's on. With the Scalia Rider G4 turned on, press and hold the mobile button for at least six seconds until the red and blue lights begin rapidly alternating. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, ah, I like that, right on cue. The next step is, and I want to read this from the book, search for the Bluetooth devices on your phone by following the phone's instructions. Consult your phone's user manual for more information. After a few seconds, the phone will list Scalia Rider G Ford as discovered in the device. And as you can see, it's right down here on the bottom. We'll select it and then we'll follow the phone's instructions to accept it while pairing. Now, yeah, uh, as you can see, it found it. It's asked me for the pin number, which is, in this case, four zeros, which is typical for this type of device. We'll do that. I'll press connect, and the phone will confirm that the pairing has succeeded, and the headset will begin to flash slowly in blue. And it is now doing that. So I guess we're connected. Well, I can honestly say it was a fairly painless process of getting the Scalia Rider G4 connected to my existing helmet. Skill level of one to five, a one to two. Not that difficult to do. It's all charged up and ready to go, but just as a quick reminder, three buttons on the top. Once it's turned on, when a phone call comes in, all you have to do is just tap the center button here. That's the mobile button. When you wanna disconnect from a call, Tap it again or wait for the other party to hang up. It'll automatically disconnect. Your volume up and down on each side. So it's fairly easy to use. Since it is Bluetooth, you can use this to connect to other devices that are Bluetooth enabled. This device uses the A2DP setup, so it's pretty much stereo as it comes through. You know, depending on the device you're connecting it to. But you connect to MP3 players. It does have a built-in radio. You can connect it to your GPS. And as I stated before, it does come with a cable so you can connect it to wire devices if you show, so choose. Over the next few weeks, I'll be testing this in both the phone mode as well as the intercom mode. We'll see how it performs. To check out the progress, just go to the vog.net or iride.net, go to the forums, do a search for Cardo, and add to the thread. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear them. If you own one and you would like to provide some input, that's welcome too. For the Vogue.net and iRide.net, I'm the Gadget Guru Andy Parr, and I'll see you on the road and online.